Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 5 on the iPhone 4, iPod Touch 3rd generation, and iPhone 3GS. This will not work for the iPod 2 and the iPhone 4S, two A5 chip devices. It will also work for the iPod Touch 4th generation. You're going to need two files. The first one will be Red Snow, and the second one uh, will be your selected IPSW, your software, for your phone or iPod. Well, the link for these two will be in the description. And let's get started. So, first thing you do is you open Red Snow, and you get two options. You get to jailbreak or extras. In this case, we're going to click extras to avoid any errors. Once we click extras, uh, we're going to choose select IPSW, and we're going to open um, our IPSW, which I just selected, which was on my desktop. Yours may be in download on my documents, um, depending on where your computer saves your downloads to. It's just telling us that the rest of uh, the Redsmith session will be um, made up of this build of the IPSW we selected, so we click OK. And we go ahead with the jailbreak process. Then we're going to press um, back and jailbreak. And it's going to read the IPSW file. Just wait for it to do that. This is currently my iPhone 4, 8GB on iOS 5. Um, you can see it's got new stand and all the others. So, what you're going to need to do is make sure your device is on or off, it doesn't really matter. And you're going to hold down the home and power button for 10 seconds until it turns off. And once it turns off, uh, you're going to keep holding the home button to you hear your computer make the noise for when the USB cable is connected, like this, for example. Yeah, and once that noise is made, um, your computer will start the jailbreak process. In this case, we're just going to click Install Cydia. Um, after this, you'll notice when your device boots up, Cydia is going to be a white logo. And this is because it's a tethered jailbreak, so what we're going to need to do is go to back, extras, in the same red snow, don't close red snow, and go to just boot. Once we click just boot, go through the same process, home and, uh, home and the power button for 10 seconds, and then home button for another 10 seconds. Once you've done that, then you'll be into DFU mode. Uh, I'm not going to do it because my device is already jailbroken. And uh, what you're going to do is press next and it will bypass the screen and it will be tethered and you should be jailbroken guys. Uh, thanks for watching, I'll just quickly show you I'm on iOS 5, a jailbroken, so it's have a jailbreak. Thanks for watching, any questions uh, send me a message, comment, subscribe, like, thanks for watching, bye.